Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving Cambridge IGCSE Biology Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended May June 2020 Paper 2 2. Guys, in this particular question paper video, we'll be solving from question number 1 to question number 20. I'm going to put the part 2 video and the part 1 video both in a playlist. So please check the playlist out and you will get both of the question papers. Guys, moving to Question number one, the diagram shows what happened in an experiment with the plant seedling. Okay, we have a unidirectional light. Next day, we see the plant is bending towards that light. Which characteristics of living things made the seedling go towards the light? We know that plants are very sensitive towards light. Plants will, you know, uh, sense light to show phototropism and will move towards that particular light. So this is a sensitivity that the plant is showing. So 1A will be the answer, guys. 1D will be the answer, guys. All right. Question number two. A rat has the scientific name Rattus. Rattus. What do the two part of the name refer to? So the first part of the name refers to the genus. And the second part of the name refers to the species. So genus and species. 2A will be the answer. The diagram shows a plant cell. Okay, we can see a plant cell. A biologist wants to find out the number of chromosomes it contains. Which label part should be examined more closely? Chromosomes are contained within nucleus. So we can see A is the one that is labeling nucleus. So A should be zoomed in more closely. Question number four. The diagram shows a human liver cell. We can see M, which stands for mitochondria here. Okay. All right. Now, the question says the length of the structure M on the diagram is 6 millimeter. Okay. The magnification of the diagram is 2000. What is the actual length of M? Guys, if you notice carefully, here the answers are either given in micrometer or they are given in millimeter. Now. Obviously, the actual length of, uh, you know, actual length of M cannot be 12,000 millimeter. That is, I mean, already in the diagram, in the image, we have 6 millimeter. So actual cannot be 12,000 millimeter. So we cancel that out. Now, 6 millimeter and here we have micrometer. They must be in similar units to be, you know, to have a fair comparison. So 6 millimeter will be equals to 6,000 micrometer. When divided by 2,000, this will give... 3 micrometer. So, guys, B will be the answer. Guys, to do this particular math, I have used the formula M is equals to I over A. I stands for image and A is the actual. So, 6000 was the image. 6000 was the image and two uh, sorry. Uh, to do this particular math, I used the formula A is equals to I over M. So, 6000 is the image and 2000 is the magnification guys when i did the division i got the actual length which is 3 micrometer question number five which diagram shows the appearance of a plant cell several minutes after it has been placed in a concentrated solution of sugar so guys in a concentrated solution of sugar the plant cell will readily lose a lot of water from the cell so water will be lost from the particular plant cell and as a result the cell membrane will start to collapse away from the cell wall so as that is going to happen, 5A will be the answer. B does not show the vacuole. Uh, C shows a completely normal cell. So after placing in a concentrated solution, that's not going to happen to a plant. And D shows multiple vacuoles and does not show any plasmolysis. Only A shows plasmolysis. So, all right, since it is the only one that is showing plasmolysis, so 5 is the correct answer. 5A is the correct answer. Question number 6. An uncooked piece of potato was placed in a solution. After two hours, the size of the pieces of potato has decreased. All right. So since the potato size has decreased, that means the potato lost water. So guys, keep that in mind that the potato lost water. Potato lost water. So let's represent it in this way. Let's say like a you know potato French fry. This. All right. So uh, it lost water to the surrounding and it will decrease in mass. So the surrounding must have a lower water potential. The surrounding must have a lower 
water potential. Okay, so water potential, potato cells will be higher. External solution, water solution, water potential will be lower. And potato cells will become flaccid. They will lose water. So when they lose water, they will become flaccid. So guys, A will be the correct answer. Seven. The diagram shows a section of DNA with four bases identified on the strand. All right. Question says which sequence of bases would be on the other strand starting from the top. Guys, the answer is very simple. G, opposite to G will be C. Opposite to A will be T. Then G and then A. So C, T, G, A will be the correct answer, guys. 7B is the answer. Which food testing solution shows a positive result when it turns from blue to purple? All right. So when it turns from blue to purple, first of all, we need to understand each food test. Benedict solution goes from blue to brick red. So blue to brick red. Violet solution goes from blue to purple in presence of protein. Ethanol gives an emulsion test with fat and iodine all right gives a uh, blue black from uh, you know typically brown solution so b will be the correct answer guys 8b the diagram shows four types of human tooth all right incisors canines premolar and molar which teeth are used for grinding food for grinding food we will use three and four all right, because they will, uh, you know, for cutting and shearing, we use one and two uh, incisor and canine. And for grinding food, premolars and molars are the best because the surface area that they provide, you know, that allows the grinding of the food perfectly. Question number 10. Enzymes function best at their optimum temperature. Which statement describes the effect on an enzyme of increasing the temperature to enzymes optimum temperature? All right. So. We know that as the temperature is increased from, you know, like uh, near freezing towards a higher temperature to its optimum temperature, the rate of enzyme activity increases. So there are more frequent collisions, successful collisions. All right. Uh, uh, the kinetic energy of the enzyme decreases. No, as we increase temperature, kinetic energy doesn't decrease. A could be a correct answer. All right. Let's see the other points. Enzymes begin to lose their complementary shape. No, before, as we reach the optimum temperature, enzyme does not lose any of their complementary shape. After exceeding the optimum temperature, the enzyme starts losing complementary shape. All right. The rate at which the enzyme sulfate complex forms is reduced. As we increase the temperature towards optimum temperature, the rate of formation of enzyme sulfate complex will increase. So guys, 10A will be the correct answer. The diagram shows how the rate of photosynthesis varies with light intensity. Four curves show different conditions of temperature and carbon dioxide concentration. We see light intensity on the x-axis and rate of photosynthesis on the y-axis. Which What limits the rate of photosynthesis at point P? Guys, if we study at point P, the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius and 0.1% carbon dioxide. So we can see at 20 degrees Celsius, if we use the same uh, condition of carbon dioxide if we use the same condition of carbon dioxide but we use a higher temperature we see that higher rate of photosynthesis so definitely we can say that at that particular instant light intensity was not the limiting factor however we can definitely say temperature was the limiting factor now when it comes to carbon dioxide concentration guys at same 20 degrees celsius if we had a higher concentration of carbon dioxide we had a faster rate of photosynthesis that means carbon dioxide concentration was also the limiting factor so question number 11 c will be the answer guys guys moving to question number 12 the diagram shows a plant cell in which part of the cell does photosynthesis occur photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast so d is the one that is labeling the chloroplast. The graph shows the effect of pH on the activity of an enzyme. In which part of the elementary canal would the enzyme be most active? We can see the enzyme is most active at a pH of 2. All right, which certainly, you know, uh, refers to our stomach. All right, so definitely it should be stomach. 
So, 13D. The diagram shows the um, structure of villus, the arteriole, capillary, lacteal, and venule are labeled with letters. Which letters show where nutrients are absorbed into the blood? Okay. Which letter shows where nutrients are absorbed into the blood? Now, uh, definitely into the blood, if you notice carefully, A is the lacteal. All right. And D is the artery, uh, arteriole that brings in the blood. All right. And C is the venule that takes away the blood. So definitely materials will be absorbed into the blood, directly into the blood in B. So 14, B will be the correct answer, guys. Question 15, which change increases the rate of water uptake by the root of a plant? So increasing the rate of water uptake by the root of a plant. So uh, first of all, decrease in evaporation of water from mesophyll cells. Yes, you know, if we lose water from the aerial parts of the plant, the plant may get encouraged to absorb more and more water through the root of the plant. All right. Uh, so here they say decrease. So definitely decrease in evaporation will stimulate less, you know, uptake of water. So A will not be the answer. Decrease in length of root hairs. All right. Decrease in length of root hairs will decrease the surface area and thereby will decrease the amount of uh, rate of water uptake. Decrease in water potential of root hair cells. Decrease in water potential of root hair cells, meaning that, meaning that the root hair cells it was going to have a lower water potential. Oh my God, this is such a horrible root hair cell. Okay, it, it means that the root hair cells is going to have lower water potential as a result water will move in from outside to inside. Yes, this could be a very good stimulation for increasing water uptake by root hair cell. Decrease in water potential of soil. Decreasing water potential of soil will have an opposite effect. It will cause the root hair cell to lose water. So C will be the correct answer, guys. 16. Daughter is a plant that grows on the other plant called host the daughter plant connects to the host's muscular bundles the daughter plant does not have green leaves or roots what correctly describes the regions for translocation host leaves okay so the host leaves acts as a source the host basically refers to the plant that actually is providing the nutrients and the daughter plant leaves acts as a sink so 16 c will be the correct answer guys 17. The diagram shows the single circulation of fish and double circulation of a mammal. All right. Which letters represent areas of oxygenated blood? Guys, fish, as we know, the atrium and ventricle both pumps deoxygenated blood. So once the deoxygenated blood gets into gills, all right, gill capillaries, it gets oxygenated. So ox this is oxygenated blood here. Oxygenated blood. After it passes through, all right, gills. So oxygen is taken in from the water and carbon dioxide is released into the water. Okay. So guys, uh, uh, that, that's, that being said, all right. Mm, so S is carrying uh, oxygenated blood. That's for sure. So S will be uh, the correct answer. All right. And why? After the lungs, all right, lungs, uh, you know, oxygen is, uh, you know, received from the lungs into the capillaries. The Y portion will also have oxygenated blood. So S and Y, B will be the correct answer, guys. As moving to question number 18, the diagram shows the human heart and main blood vessels. All right, we can see X, all right, lungs. So this X represents pulmonary vein. All right, okay. Now, what is the blood vessel labeled X? So this is pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein brings in oxygenated blood back to the heart so question number 18 c is the answer 19 the following are the statements about immunity the transfer of antibodies from mother to baby in a breast milk is an example of passive immunity the passive immunity results in long-term immunity because of the production of memory cells guys passive immunity never results in production of memory cells active immunity is gained after vaccination with antigens this is correct guys well, we will get active immunity once we are vaccinated with antigens the transfer of antibodies from mother to baby is in breast milk is an example of passive immunity that is also correct guys mother to baby when breast milk you know is given all right then the baby receives antibodies that are coming through the milk so one and three correct c will be the answer guys moving to question number 20 and the last last question of 
uh, you know, this video. What is the site of gas exchange in humans? Site of gas exchange in human is alveoli. In alveoli, all right, you know, we gain oxygenated. If we look at the structure of alveoli, all right, blood vessels run right next to the alveoli. All right, just so that it is distinguished properly. I'm showing the deoxygenated blood coming in uh, as blue, and once it gets oxygenated, it is becoming red and living, as you can see. So oxygen from the uh, you know oxygen from the uh, alveoli is gained into the capillary, and that causes the red blood cell to become oxygenated. All right, so alveoli is the site of gas exchange in humans. Guys, thank you for watching this particular video. In your next video, we'll be solving from question number 21 to question number 40. Uh, you know, keep an eye for that. And I will definitely put both of this particular two-part question paper in a playlist and watch all the videos from the playlist. And uh, best of luck with your exams. At the time you were watching this particular video, this channel had a total of 168 hours of watch time hours per 28 days. But we had a substantial increase in number of um, uh, you know our viewers our subscribers which is 257 if you like videos like this then subscribe to the channel and stay connected with us uh, because it helps the channel grow and you know appreciates us with our work write in the comments if you need any help uh, definitely i'll be happy to answer you and if you want any question paper related to chemistry and biology that you want me to solve uh, post it all right uh, you know comment and let me know and definitely i'll post it for you Thank you guys for joining the video. Bye-bye.